Glad to get number one. You know, definitely uh, proud of our guys to, to find a way. Uh, you know, and we kind of did it in a very roundabout way. Uh, but to get number one for the season, the first win, you know, I'm proud of the guys and, and how they handled it. You know, we got in a hole in the fourth quarter and, um, you know, just kept digging, kept, uh, you know, making stops on the defensive end and then got a good spurt with uh, those three goals uh, quickly and, you know, the, the man down, the overtime. And, you know, I give a ton of credit to our guys to be able to, you know, just stay focused and, and dig in and, and make the plays that needed to be made uh, down the stretch. I definitely think we came out um, first quarter a little anxious trying to get a couple early shots in there. Not really working through, uh, working the ball through X and stuff, but uh, towards the end of the game, you know, we just kind of settled down a little bit, and uh, I think we did a good job capitalizing on trans transition also, so that helped a lot. I thought our guys did a good job of bodying up on them, not letting them get down the alleys clean, uh, driving them to bad angles. Uh, we did lose, uh, lose sight of them off ball a few times, and they capitalized on it, you know, some uh, backside crease cuts and, and stuff like that and uh, some slides that didn't happen uh, that they got decent shots off off of the dodge um, but overall I think our defense played a lot more comfortable a lot more aware of what was going to happen to them. I mean it was, it was kind of windy so it was hard to hear out there but nothing really on the actual play uh, it was more of a communication issue you know especially on that far side so it's definitely hard to hear down there so as an offense and defense we got to you know, communicate as a whole, echo the calls so we know what we're in. And that's really what – win played a pretty big factor in that part. You know, once they get a win, you know, in the season, it just gives them, you know, the confidence hopefully to know that what they're doing works. You know, it's going to help them get better. Um, Mount St. Mary's is going to pose a, a, a lot more challenges um, because they're very talented and uh, very athletic. Um, they've uh, had two wins the past two games that they played, uh, one against Delaware, one against Bucknell. And um, they're a very, very talented team, and we're going to have to um, obviously pay attention to, to what they do. <coughs> and the week of preparation should help us in that, um, being able to, one, you know, give some of these guys some rest after you know, three tough games in a week, uh, and also um, get our guys ready for um, you know, a game at, at night on the road and seeing what you know, Mount St. Mary's is going to bring. Hey, Tiger Town, be a part of the uproar and get your Towson basketball tickets today. Get ready to wear your black and gold as head coach Pat Scary and the Tigers hit the hardwood in their final game at the Towson Center Arena. See the Tigers take on Hofstra in a conference matchup presented by Cadoba Saturday, March 2nd at 4 p.m. in the Towson Center Arena. Also help support the Tigers in the CAA food drive by donating non-perishable food at the game. For tickets, visit TowsonTigers.com or call 1-855-TIGER. Don't miss out.